On July 10, 2022, heavy rains lashed the city of Ahmedabad, leading to rise in water levels in rivers and causing floods in various low-lying areas. Several areas were submerged in water from this downpour, which only lasted for about two hours. According to media reports, Ahmedabad received 30% of the entire season's rainfall in the last three days. Several other districts of Gujarat are also facing a flood-like situation because of this extreme precipitation. Over 549 mm of rainfall was recorded in the Burdeli Taluka of Chota Udaipur district on Sunday, leading to floods in rural areas. The state of Gujarat completely shifted from a state of near drought to a state of near flood condition in a matter of 10 days. But why? These extreme rainfall events show the complexity of climate change as Gujarat is currently still experiencing a rainfall deficit. In the month of June 2022, Gujarat got around 62.1 mm of rainfall, which is 47% short of the normal 126.2 mm. But all of these changed in a matter of days. By July 5th, the state's deficit came down to 22%, and it was further reduced to 10% by July 10th, after three days of consistent rains. The reason for such extreme excess rainfall along the northern part of India's west coast is the northern swing of the low-level jet. Low-level jet is a band of winds in the lower layer of the atmosphere that usually brings moisture from the surrounding oceans to India during the monsoon. But in recent years, the direction of the wind has changed and this has led to intense rainfall in short periods of time, mainly due to climate change. Chota Udaipur received a rainfall of 322.4 mm on July 10th, especially as normal rainfall for the entire district in 24 hours is about 10.5 mm during July. This is a 2,970% increase from the normal. There has also been a significant decrease in rainy days in Chota Udaipur district between 1989 and 2018. This is also a significant increasing trend in the number of heavy rainfall days. So now whatever rainfall falls in the district would come in a smaller number of days like July 10th. According to reports, a total of 3,250 people have been evacuated in Gujarat because of flooding. This includes 400 in Chota Udaipur, 550 in Navsari and 470 in Valsad. Three National Disaster Response Force teams and 16 State Disaster Response Forces have also been deployed in the state. The IMD has predicted heavy to very heavy rainfall for the next three days in South Gujarat's districts of Dang, Navsari and Valsad.